industry was not short of exchange merger news last week. So why in the face of increased competition from alternative marketplaces do you think that they have gone for this uh, bigger is better strategy, these the mergers that were announced uh, with the uh, Nice Euronext and Deutsche Bourse and the like? Well, it, it, it was an interesting week in the exchange space indeed. And uh, obviously, I think in the um, as a natural reaction to the uh, increased competition and fragmentation that we've seen over the past years, um, consolidation is, is really the next step in that. It's, the, it's a natural reaction to that. Um, I would say that if you look at some of the factors that's driving these suggested mergers that we see, is is a number of, of, of reasons. It's um, economies of scale. So equities trading in the lit markets today is a fairly commoditized business, is, is what you call a low margin business. What you do is you obviously increase your revenue in that type of business by reducing your cost base. Generally, you do that by achieving economies of scale. So I think that's why you go for the, uh, the bigger and better approach to some extent. It also has to do with what many of these exchanges want. It's a global footprint. Again, it's a way of achieving this global footprint. But it also goes outside just equity trading, which is what these alternative platforms do. Uh, it's also driven by factors such as listing synergies and also the opportunity to get into more high margin businesses such as derivatives and the clearing and settlement space. But, I mean, merging two large entities like the Deutsche Bourse and, and, and Nice Euronext, which is going to create the world's largest exchange, that's going to be an, an immense, complex project. I mean, how long, if there are going to be any benefits from creating this giant exchange, how long will investors have to wait before they realize these benefits? Do you know what? If I, if I look at the uh, sector of this industry that we serve, which is really the, the institutional space, I haven't seen anything yet that indicates that this will actually bring any, any specific benefits to, to these investors. Um, what these investors face in the market today is a fundamental problem of demand and supply imbalance. If you're an institutional investor, then we should remember when we talk about institutional investors, we're really talking about fund managers and pension funds. And what these firms do is they are professionally managing retirement funds and savings for millions of, of individual investors globally. These firms are still challenged with the, set, with the um, problem that if you want to efficiently implement a large investment decision, that's very hard to do in today's markets. You will struggle to find liquidity, you will suffer severe market impact, and this will inevitably lead to higher trading costs. Now, these type of mergers haven't done anything that I can see that would in any way improve that problem. Why do you think that, I mean, wasn't the whole idea of having a merger was to better serve the investors that trade on the markets? I mean, what, what do you think the reasons for the mergers were? I think the main reasons behind the mergers are economies of scale. Um, you can reduce a cost base and you can thereby increase revenue. I also think to some extent you are probably serving a set of the market, but not necessarily the institutional investor group. You, you mentioned earlier about how the lit equity markets are a commoditized business. I mean, a lot of exchanges have tried to offer dark trading uh, services. Why do you think a lot of exchanges have been unsuccessful offering uh, dark pools or dark trading? For a number of reasons. I think fundamentally, to offer these type of services, it's a brokerage house type of services. And it's not necessarily the, the strength of an exchange. Um, that said, uh, obviously, various exchanges have ventured into this space, sometimes in cooperation with brokerage houses. I guess the fundamental problem that they've faced is that they are trying to do a new offering for the same client base based on the same liquidity. So efficiently, you would see the same type of firms trading the same type of flow on their lit book as well as in a dark venue. Um, that doesn't necessarily bring anything new to the market. I think the reason why we have been so successful with our dark institutional pool at Liquinet is that we are serving a different subject on the mar of the market. We are serving the institutional space that has a need for a very efficient wholesale block trading offering away from the lit market. And that's a space where none of the, that none of the exchange dark pools have managed to capture. Thank you very much. Thank you.